We're about to plan an attack on the Vardwar homeworld. We need a battle commander, and I believe you're the best candidate for the job. Meet with Admiral Tuvok and myself at the Janolan Dyson Sphere to go over strategy. Admiral Tuvok will be giving a presentation soon. Until then, I'd like you to speak with our allies and see what they're bringing to the table. The Vaudoir are anticipating an attack of some kind, and we know they are monitoring our ship movements closely. Therefore, I suggest we adapt the tactics of our enemies to our own use. As a diversion, I have dispatched Alliance ships to the Cartella system to engage the Vaudoir forces there. If they are successful, by the time the Vaudoir realize what is happening, we will have already secured Vaudoir Prime. The Vaudoir believe the other species of this quadrant are too weak to challenge them. We will use that misconception to our advantage by using our Delta Quadrant allies to assault Vaudoir Prime itself. Admiral Tuvok will be giving a pre- The Cooperative asked me to inform you that they appreciate your assistance and are prepared to provide what assistance they can in the final battle against the Vaudoir. The Cooperative's main weapon is adapted Borg technology. Cooperative vessels can confuse the systems of opposing ships and cause them to fire on friendly targets. This tactic is most effective in mixed groups of ships, where the Cooperative can turn the larger vessels against the smaller ones. The Cooperative appreciates your partnership, and we are eager to end the Vaudoir threat to our quadrant. Our technological capabilities are at your disposal. I'm not sure I completely trust the Kazon after our experience with Maj Sessim, but they say they'll fight for us today. Maybe you'll have better luck reaching a consensus with them than I did. The Kazon have a large number of ships and fight without fear. However, their lack of organization makes slotting them into precise battle formations problematic. They'll go to war with you, but they may not follow every order. The Kazon are eager for battle. Our enemies will fall today. All of them. Good to see you again. Through my excellent diplomatic skills, and some assistance from Admiral Tuvok, I have managed to convince the Hierarchy Board of Directors that assisting us in this battle and ensuring the end of the Vaudoir will improve their long-term profits. The Hierarchy are experts at surveillance and espionage. If the Vaudoir try any tricks, the Hierarchy would be the ones we should send to subvert them. Greetings! The Hierarchy is anticipating a profitable transaction under your guidance. Our surveillance and tactical capabilities are at your disposal. We have a firm contract with the Hazari. It would bring them great dishonor to fail to complete it, so I expect that we'll have their full support in this battle. The Hazari ships usually fight in pairs. One ship hangs back and provides shield support for the other. This gives them excellent defensive capabilities, but it comes at a cost. Their firepower isn't quite as strong as it would be if they weren't so dedicated to protection. Greetings. The Hazari will uphold our end of the contract. To the letter. And we expect you to do the same. We specialize in defense. And our ships are at your disposal.
The presentation will begin momentarily. Perhaps you would be willing to check in with the representatives of our other allies. We invited Eldex's people and the Herogen, but neither group chose to send a representative. Greetings. The Benthan Guard is honored to join you in the fight against the Vaudoir. We dedicate our lives to promoting law and order throughout the Delta Quadrant. Finding someone else with the same ideals is unusual, but most gratifying. Hello again! You've done so much to help us. It's only right that we help you this time. Greetings. Aiding you against the Vaudoir was a difficult decision for our people. We do not wish to ally with you. But we understand that ending Gaul's reign of terror is more important than our discomfort. It's an honor to meet you again. I am eternally grateful for your assistance on my world. By joining you in this fight, perhaps I can begin to repay a small portion of the life debt my people owe you. If you are ready, I will begin the presentation. The bulk of the Vaudoir fleet has pulled back to Vaudoir Prime. We expect to face the final might of the Vaudoir, including Gaul's flagship. Our battle there will have five fronts, each progressively closer to the planet. Our rendezvous point will be here, where the mineral content of the moon will help to hide our ships. The Touré will secure the subspace tunnels in this area, while the Kabali will help the wounded. The Admiral has already given us our assignment. Our forces will assault the other side of the planet to secure the area against a possible retreat. Our Talaxian friends will be in charge of transporting prisoners of war. To give us the best possible chance of success, our battle commander will be able to call in one wing of our allies at each of the first four fronts. Each wing of allies has different tactical advantages. The cooperative can confuse enemies. The Kazon have many ships and fight without fear. The hierarchy have unparalleled espionage and surveillance abilities and should be difficult to take by surprise. Azari vessels fight in pairs with one ship reinforcing the other's shields. This battle will be difficult, but we must prevail. is ready to begin the assault. I will remain behind to coordinate their movements, while you will be commanding the battle from the field. We have four wings of allies at our disposal to help you break through the Vaudoir lines. I recommend deploying one wing in each area. Are you ready to begin? The Vaudoir have sent out several large frigate scout forces. Which wing of allies do you want to assist you? An excellent choice. The Kazon number should be a match for the frigates, and their lack of organization should not be too great of a hindrance. Something's not right here. The Kazon are in the wrong position, and they aren't responding to my hails. I was worried they might double-cross us, but I never thought they would be so blatant. But come to think of it, they did say some pretty suspicious things during the briefing. Fortunately, Admiral Tuvok and I have a backup plan. Sesson has been encroaching on Herogen territory for some time. They'll join us in battle for a chance to collect his ship as a trophy. We 
will hunt! The Trojan are ready to fight. has secured the subspace tunnels. The Vardwar will not be able to use them to attack or to retreat. We shall establish a medical flotilla and secure the area. Vessels of the fleet can transport any wounded, including Vardwar, to our ships for treatment. The Vaudoir have set up a cruiser picket line in this area. Which ally do you want to advance? A sound tactical choice. The Hazari methods utilize one ship to reinforce the shields of another. Vaudoir cruisers do not have the firepower to break through the reinforced shielding. on Ogla will no longer stand by while the Relora and Nistrum sully our name with their treachery. I will make good on their false promises. Vodwar defenders, and we are entering position for our next offensive. Resistance has been heavier than expected, but our ships have so far proved equal to the task. Please remember to direct any wounded or prisoners of war to our flotilla at Alpha Front. That went well. What do you want me to do now? The Vaudoir have constructed a defensive line of battleships supported by frigates. Which wing of allies would you like to help you? 
an excellent strategy. The technology of the cooperative may be able to cause the larger ships to attack the smaller ones. Certainly, the cooperative coordination and discipline will be more than a match for the tactical abilities of the Vodwar. surveillance capabilities of the hierarchy should help us prepare for any surprises the Vodwar might have in store.
Vaudoir forces are defeated, as I knew they would be. <laughs> what are your orders? We have broken through to their final line of defense, their command ships. However, in doing so, we have exhausted our supply of allies, and the Vodwar dreadnoughts are formidable. This will be a difficult fight. Not quite alone. The Herojin have matters well in hand, so the Rhode Island is at your disposal. I have temporarily taken command of a cooperative vessel. It will not fight alone. The hierarchy also agreed to send a single ship to assist in the final assault. Under the command of yours truly, of course. I'm finally getting to use my emergency command subroutine. But you would not believe the amount of paperwork I had to fill out. Last but not least, the Hazari managed to spare a ship and put it under my command. Captain Neelix. I quite like the sound of that. I am impressed with the show of support from our allies. However, my tactical analysis indicates that our forces are in the bot one.
Your persistence is a credit to your race. Welcome, my friend. But it is time. You should have joined me when you had the chance. Your blood will drench the sands of our blasted home. Congratulations. You have earned the right to die on the hallowed soil of Vatwa Prime. Clearly not the brightest aliens in the universe. Your bravery is admirable. And I do respect Starfleet for ending my people's long twilight. Surrender now, and I give you my word I will spare your people. You and the other leaders will need to be executed, of course. But that is only to maintain order. Personally, I bear you no ill will. That's twice you've refused my generosity. I should be insulted, but your pitiful blindness makes it difficult. The Vardwa controlled this quadrant once, and our new allies have only made us stronger. Uh. Is that the best you've got? Now's your chance! Defeat Gaul! The Vardwar Empire will never fall, and you will not even be a footnote in our glorious history. We cannot be stopped. Time after time we rise from the ashes, and we are stronger for doing so. Your logic is flawed, Gaul. You are already defeated. The evil I mistakenly unleashed on the galaxy ends at last. My people 
And the galaxy must believe the parasites were behind his madness. The remaining Vagwar have surrendered. What is your current situation? Were you able to determine why he returned to the surface? It was a tactical error. Even if underspace was closed to him, Gaul would have had more opportunities to escape if he had remained in his ship. Certainly. May I recommend Seven, Captain Kim, the Doctor, and Neelix join us as well? Their insight may be valuable. Honestly, I wasn't sure about coming back to the Delta Quadrant. I have a family and a life back home, and the idea of being 70,000 light years away again wasn't appealing. But seeing the good we've done for the Gabali, and now stopping the Vodwar, I think we were needed here. You were needed. Thank you. It's been a pleasure serving with you. I hope we meet again. While this conflict was regrettable, it was, ultimately, for the greater good. Gaul's hubris and ambition blinded him to the harm he was doing to the Delta Quadrant and his own people. Now the threat is ended. There will be time to heal the damage he has done. War is just a pointless waste of life. Usually for a political reason, it doesn't much matter in the long term anyway. I understand that sometimes we need to fight to defend those who cannot defend themselves. I respect that. But what Gaul was doing here was madness. It's one thing for him to want to rebuild his people. It's something entirely different to destroy dozens of worlds to do so. I was responsible for the return of the Vodwar. Even though Admiral Janeway told me she might have done the same thing, it was ultimately my actions that allowed all this destruction to happen. I participated in the assimilation of many different species during my time with the Borg. Those acts weigh on me. The wanton slaughter caused by the Vodwar will do so as well. Nevertheless, I am pleased I could, in some way, make up for my actions. By assisting the Ture, working with the Cooperative, and fighting the Vodwar here today, we have helped end what began more than 30 years ago when I activated those stasis tubes and freed the Vodwar. Thank you. I'm not a man who normally dwells on revenge, but when Gaul and his soldiers attacked my people, it was almost all I could think about. Dexa helped me to see that death doesn't heal wounds of the heart, but thank you. This quadrant is safer now that Gaul and his soldiers are defeated, and I'm glad I was here to see it happen. Intriguing. This device is not familiar to me, but it does not appear to be of Vodwar origin. I will bring it back to Voyager for further analysis. With the defeat of Gaul, we've saved the Quadrant from a terrible threat. Well done. This unknown artifact concerns me, however. We'll be in touch once we know more. There's something in-